friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB advanced agile technical tester we are in chapter 4 and continuing with the same topic 4.1 but looking at the next segment of it that is 4.1.2 the role of continuous testing in continuous delivery and continuous deployment so first of all is a very small tutorial to understand small things about how continuous testing is applied with respect to continuous integration and deployment and delivery so first of all we're talking about the continuous testing which is basically an approach that involves a process of testing early testing often testing everywhere and automate to obtain feedback on the business risk associated with a software release candidate as rapidly as possible so when you talk about the short iterations of course uh, there's such things which quite often happens and it's just not limited uh, unlike traditional approaches where it happens once for all or one time in the cycle but here we're talking about conducting it every now and then so that we can get a quick response from the resources in continuous testing a modification made to the system triggers the required test that means those tests that cover the change additionally which will be added to the execute to be executed automatically giving the developer prompt feedback if there is anything need to be done at that point of time continuous testing can be applied in different situations however the concept is same that is to automatically execute test as early as possible additionally we are talking about how this impacts continuous delivery and continuous deployment the first thing to understand is what is continuous delivery it requires continuous integration of course because every time you try to integrate something with the existing you deliver that now continuous delivery extends continuous integration by deploying all code changes to a testing or pre-production environment and a production like environment after the build stage so sometimes the organization uses a pre-production environment which can also be called as production like environment which will not be the real one but they want to check that everything is working really fine when it comes to the similar thing additionally when you talk about this stage a process makes it possible to execute functional tests by applying real user inputs and non-functional tests such as load stress performance and portability testing which is all done before we can actually look into the production phase since every change embedded is delivered to the staging environment using complete automation the agile team can have confidence the system can be deployed to production with a push of a button when the definition of done is achieved so having that confidence is basically important by doing several uh, number of execution and iterations of testing and coordination uh, with the early feedback would definitely give you that confidence that you can just press a button and it's like you know that quick you can just decide to move into the production environment whereas when you talk about the continuous deployment it takes continuous delivery a step further with the notion that every change is automatically deployed to production continuous deployment aims to minimize the time elapsed between the development task of writing a new code and having it used by a real user in production so the most important thing with respect to continuous deployment is that we consistently try deploying the things into the production environment which reduces the gap between or the time between the code being written and the users using it so this is what the most important thing is with respect to deployment and putting it both together when you talk about continuous delivery and continuous deployment depends on the continuous testing that how active how frequent your testing is which can assure you and give you that confidence that yes this code can now be put into the production so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be getting back with to you with another video on this particular chapter and then sample questions of this chapter and uh, if you have anything else beyond this feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning